Father, our gracious Father, our merciful Father, the one who was, the one who is, the one who is to come, everlasting King of glory, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the beginning and the end, the one who is, who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above that which you think or ask, according to the power that is at work in us. We give all praises unto you. We give you all glory. We give you all honor. We give you all adoration for what you have done for us. Father, be exalted in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for the beginning of this time. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for this school. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for this, your pupils. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for the teachers. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for the proprietors. Lord, we appreciate you for all you have done for us. In the course of the, during the time of holiday, thank you for your protection over your, these children. Father, we want to appreciate you. Lord, be exalted in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty and everlasting Father, we are grateful unto you for all you have done for us. If we begin to count, we cannot count and recount enough. But all we have done for us, what we don't need to do is to appreciate you. Thank you, O oh God, for these pupils. Thank you for what you have done for them. Thank you, O oh God, for their present. Thank you, O oh God, for their futures. Thank you, O oh God, for what you are doing on their behalf. Lord, be exalted in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we want to thank you for this environment. Thank you for this beautiful environment. Thank you for all you have done for our mommy. Thank you for all you will continue to do for her and her family. Father, be exalted in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, we are gathered together this morning as we are starting a new time. We are committing everything unto you because you are the God of beginning and the end. Father, you are the one who knows the beginning and you know the end. Father, we thank you because you have started with us this time. Lord, be exalted in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, for a few minutes as we go into your word, Father, speak to us in Jesus' name. Yeah. Father, oh God, as we hear your word, Lord, speak to our hearts in Jesus' name. Yeah. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Yeah. Blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Children, say hallelujah. hallelujah. You will say to yourself, God bless me. You are saying to yourself, Say, God bless me. Aha, uh -huh. you have your seat. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We sincerely want to appreciate God for this time. We want to thank God for what the Lord is doing in this place. Uh, I was there, I think uh, that was April. I can see the, the changes in this environment. We want to appreciate uh, our mommy for what God is using you to do. I know. God will still do more in your life Amen. and your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We want to preach our mommy, our mommy, lady evangelist, Sholai Day or Lassen Day. Thank you, mommy. Ah, thank you. ah okay. <laughs> Excellency, man. <laughs> want to thank mommy for what mommy is doing. Want to thank all of you, uh, the teachers who are training these pupils. We sincerely want to appreciate you. For God, for what God is using you to do in their lives. And uh, we want to thank God for these children. They are very beautiful. I pray for you. It shall be well with you in Jesus' name. Uh, I will come to your level. Can you hear me? Aha. God bless you in Jesus' name. What God said I should say to you today is that I should encourage you to be obedience. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Obedience is the key for this time. Eh? Obedience. Obedience. 
he borrowed eh, to listen. When you listen, when you follow instruction, when the teacher is telling you sit down and you sit down, eh, your life will be beautiful. Amen. And your future will be great. Amen. So shall it be for you in Jesus' name. Amen. I said, so shall it be for you in Jesus' name. Amen. So I will just take, just read from Ephesians chapter 6. That was where we read yesterday in the church. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Obey your parents in the Lord. We have biological parents. We have parents in the Lord. Parents in the law are the ones that the Lord has prepared to train you to do something spiritual, something academical, something, you know, something material, anything you can call it that is good in your life. Those are the ones God has prepared to train you in the way of the Lord. So that's the one that the Lord has prepared. Eh? To do something that will that will lead you to a a, a